Hi everybody, it's Julie here and today I thought I was going to take you along and show you how I make my Traveler's Notebook inserts. So I make my own inserts uh, for two reasons. One, it's really fun. Two, I can't afford to buy the real ones. Uh, and this way I can get them just the way I like them. Uh, which is really fun and I can choose my own cover uh, and inside pages and yeah so I'm going to make three today when I make my inserts I usually make try to make a few at a time and I think I think this is a really I think it's fun um, to do especially if I have a project or I am not really sure what to do then I can make these and I feel like I'm not wasting my creative time so what I do is I pick a cover and then sort of cut it into sort of the size I'm going to want. Then I take the inside pages that I want. Here I've taken some papers, it's 160 grams I think. And um, two by two I'm going to fold them. Um, and then we're going to put them into the respective cover. Now I have this little thingy here where I have uh, sort of as a template to make it easy to poke my holes. And you can do sort of the measurements you want. I go from the middle and then inch by inch. So it makes like what seven or eight holes and that works for me but if you don't want to make that many holes or if you want to staple it but I like to sew uh, and I also like to match my thread to the cover. <laughs> so when I've done that, uh, made my holes, I'm just going to thread my needle with some uh, embroidery thread and I start from the outside. Before I started from the inside and I realized that the knot usually comes untidy and untied, unknotted on the inside. So as of um, yeah, a few months I do it from the outside and I found it keeps a lot better. And just go back and forth and then do some knots and that is it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, for the others we're going to do the same so here i have poked my holes and i'm going to use the same thread for both of them because it works i mean these are from the collection by maggie holmes chasing dreams so obviously the colors sort of match together it would be pretty odd if they didn't um so i'm going to do the same thing here start from the outside and go in and out <laughs> So yeah, um, I know there's a, a bunch of different ways into making Traveler's Notebook and um, I don't in no way think this is the most simple way. Uh, I think using a, a long arm uh, stapler is much easier um, and using like a guillotine a trimmer to cut them is much easier but I like to have them sewn. I feel it's more secure and I add a lot to my page in my books so I want to make sure they're not going to fall out and uh, I like it I really think this is fun but if you don't like it then I mean you should just buy it because why waste time making something you don't enjoy making um, but if you do like it then make it <laughs> so uh, the final step here is to cut and I use a break blade knife and I always take the first blade off. These are really cheap and really cheap to replace and um, I find the best result is when you have a really sharp, sharp blade and you go really slow. Now this is sped up a bit but if you think that you should cut one sheet of paper per, per sort of pass um, not using not, like a lot of force because when you do that's when it gets wobbly and the uh, cutting doesn't go s as smoothly so it takes time just go over and over go slowly okay that's when you get good results and uh, yeah <laughs> and I also like to get uh, to use a metal ruler um, for this just to have something to rest on and I know it's not going to not going to ruin it um, and it protects my fingers so yeah I mean so for me I have been doing these inserts for like over a year now and I feel very comfortable doing them and it doesn't take that long but I mean it's all about the routine of it I suppose but yeah for me I definitely recommend it I think it's really fun I am always really happy with the result and um, yeah 
So I hope you've liked this really short tutorial on how I make my Charlie's notebook inserts. Um, and I hope that it, it inspired you or uh, like if you wanted to know that you know now. Uh, yeah, so I hope to see you soon.